Evening everybody, Rick here, back for part 7 of this SSCL de France tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the ship's forecastle deck details, masts, cranes, uh, cargo hatches and all things like that. Uh, and any other details on the ship that I can think of at the moment. We've got just mainly this area here on the bow will be the main focus, but if anything else I can think of, we shall do that. I'm not going to do the funnels just yet. Uh, so right, what we're going to do is go to the front wall of the ship's superstructure and we're going to focus on this upper platform here. So the focusal's down there, that section there, so we're going to focus on this upper deck here. So we're going to go to the front wall of the superstructure, to the centre block, and we're going to start our cargo hatch, which is a two block gap forward. So one, two, and on the third block is where we build our hatch. And this is nine wide, so that's the centre block, and then one, two, three, four that way, and one, two, three, four that way. And then the sides are 18, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And do the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then across the front. And there you go, there's the diameter of your hatch. Uh, so for the cargo hatch top, which I'm sort of one uh, pondering what to do, if we just fill the, uh, the whole hatch in with... Uh, quartz blocks for the minute so I just build the whole floor uh, with with quartz so I should use wild editor for this so set uh, quartz and there we go there's the hatch covered and for the detailing of it uh, we can use quartz uh, slabs so if I get slabs a minute and from the center we'll add a line actually we'll add on the center we'll actually add a line of blocks so we'll make it two blocks high along the center like so and if you want to you make it three wide so like that so make it three wide like so and then add a couple of slabs that way it's up to you how you want to do this I think it sort of varies on what you want to do so you can have it a single block in the middle and then have slabs either side like that it's up to you how you want to do it if I just pop over to the prototype uh, and we should be able to see how I've done it so it's it's nine wide, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the centre line, as you can see, the centre line is a is a line of blocks. Either side is two lines of uh, slabs. So that is uh, what I did on the hatch. So I should do the same. I should try and do the same on our one over here. So I've got a centre line of blocks and then slabs either side of that. So it's just a design thing, really. It's just a cosmetic thing. There's no real function. Well, I'll say that has no real function to the whole ship, basically, but uh, it's just a co uh, cosmetic thing. And uh, it's just uh, makes it look a bit more detailing. Instead of just having a flat cargo hatch, and there we go. There's the hatch cover done, and it should look something like that. So sorry about wasting 10 minutes on a bloody cargo hatch, but uh, we can move on now. So what we're going to do now is go to the back wall of the hatch again, uh, which is closest to the... Uh, superstructure and we're going to go to the uh, fifth block out from the side so from this block here we're going to go out five so one two three four five and then we're going to add the mech system which is basically what uh, is used to uh, wind in cables and things so we'll add three blocks like so and then a single block gap and then another three blocks and then one two on top like that and then one in the middle one at the side and one at the other side so it's basically two legs and then a line across the middle like so um, that's the sort of mech design uh, so that's what I normally call it the mech but it's, uh, it's what's used to uh, connect cables and uh, crane wires and things like that so do the same thing the other side so one two three four five and we build here so build the legs one block apart and then a line across the center like so and that is that section there, that's the mech. And just looking at the prototype, making sure it's all right. And then what we're gonna do then is add the first crane. So I'm just gonna pop to the prototype again, because I'll make sure I get this right. So we've got the mech, oops, <laughs> the mech there. And then uh, one block from the mech, we add the crane, so that's fine. Okay, just go back again. And so one block from the mech, and one block from the front wall here. So we've got the mech set the side uh, the side mech. You go out from the centre and go out to the mech, and then we're going to go one block gap, and we're going to add the crane, which is 
20 blocks high. Now, I've, uh, what, what colour did I use the crane? Oh, the crane I built was in white, so I used white blocks for the crane. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, it's 20 high for the for the crane itself. And then we use uh, quartz stairs for the tops. So, it's basically just adding the top uh, an upside down stairs around the top. There's no real feature, it's just well, no real purpose, it just adds a bit of detail to the top like so. So you've got stairs around the top. And then for the crane arm itself, we go to the fifth block up from the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, fifth block up. And on the inside we get we add four four rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five rows of four rows of five curving in slightly so it's sort of diagonally in and then one block from the end in orange one well, one block from the end of the orange we add a black block there that's what it is so the crane body is white the crane arm is orange so that is that there so I do the same on the other side so one block from the mech we go 20 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and then we add all the guff around the top like so and then fifth from the bottom or fifth up from the bottom one two three four five and we add the four rows of five so one two three four five 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 and one block from the end we add the red uh, black block there and then we go there's the cranes done and it should look something like that. You can add a bit more detail to them. I know a lot of people use rigging or add rigging using either cobwebs or the iron bars, but it just clutters it up really. If, until they start making proper cables for this game, I'm not going to bother with the rigging. But you can add more detail like hanging down hooks and things, but I'm not going to bother with that for the minute. Um, but anyway, that is the forward cranes and hatch done. So we're going to do that for the minute. I'm just going to look at my notes and work out what to do next. Right, so what we're going to do now is go down to the front wall of the cargo hatch, so the cargo hatch here, and we go to the front blocks, or uh, well, the side of the front block, so the front wall's there, we'll go to the side, and we're going to add some cranes, we're going to count out 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then uh, 3, 4, so 1, 2, 3, then we build the crane 6 high, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, six like that so it's six high and then a, a weight on the front of it like so and then using quartz slabs uh i'm trying to think one down six, one down from the top we add slabs and the crane arm is six so one two three four five six this is building back towards the the ship's superstructure so it's six slabs like so and then we add diagonal slabs going down the body of the uh, crane itself and there we go, there's the crane. Sort of not right, so I couldn't change that a bit, so I shall try that again. So I'll go from the end. And there we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? So there we go, there's the crane done. So it's 10 out, 3 forward, 6 up, and then 6 for the arm. So do the same the other side. Hopefully, I do this right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 out. And then one, two, three, forward. We build up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the weight on the back. And then the crane arm. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the underbody. Just adding slabs down like so. And there we go. There's the other crane done. And it should look something like that. Right, and then what we're going to do now is go back down to the crane uh, or crane body itself, and we're going to build a uh, count inwards. I'm just going to work out how this is because there's, there's um, two small sheds. I don't know what they actually are. I just call them sheds, but they're, they're just weird designs. But we go fourth block in from the crane, so we go one, two, three, four. This is from the uh, right crane, so one, two, three, four, and we're going to add the small shed body, which is one, two, three, four, and then. I'm just trying to think which way it goes. I can't remember. But anyway, I'll, I'll pop over to the prototype again. And it's basically these things. So there's the crane body there. So one, two, three, four. So we had two and then four, four forward. 
So if you look at it from above, it looks like that. So that's what we want to do. And I'll try and get back over to our build. So what was it? It was four out from the side. So one, two, three, four. It adds two. So two like that. And in front of that we go, or behind it, sorry, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. So it's sort of that shape, the D shape basically. And then double that in height. And there we go. It should look something like that. And we'll do the same on the other side. So fourth in from the crane uh, uh, crane body. So one, two, three, four. Build two. And then four. One, two, three, four. Four again. One, two, two, three, four. And then double that in height. Like so. And that is that. those two sections like that. Uh, and then what we want to do now is to add the main mast. So we'll go back down to the front of the hatch again. So in front of the cargo hatch and we're going to use orange blocks. And we're going to count forward to the seventh block. So on the on the wood. So seven blocks forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's right, isn't it? If I just look again. Yeah, I think that's right. So seventh block forward, we add the, cra uh, the, the, the main mast. The main mast is an orange. And we go up five sections of 15 so there's one two three four five yes yeah, fifth five rows of 15 so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen one two three four five six seven eight nine nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think 5 is a bit extreme, but if you want to reduce that, you can. But anyway, it's 5 rows of 15, like so. And then from the top, we're going to go to the 7th block down from the top. So we'll go back to the top a minute. We'll go to the 7th block down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we build out 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 same the other side one two three three four and if you want to same it again remove one orange block and replace it with black this is just a cosmetic thing so it's four out either side and if down from that underneath you're going to go to the eighth block down so one two three four five six seven eight and on the front block basically we build out eight so one two three four five six seven and eight like so and the same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And there you go, there's the sort of forward mast sort of done. And it should look something like that. And then for the crow's nest, I've not actually written the details down for the crow's nest, but if we go down to uh, the, well, if we go from the bottom, we go up to the top of the second 15. So we've got a 15 at the bottom here, and we go to the top of the second 15. We can add our. Um, Oh, what's it called? Crow's nest there. So if we go on the on the prototype, is a bit further. It's a bit below the top of the 15. But if you want to build it on the top of the 15, you can. Uh, if we can, actually, if we can't count down one, two, three, four, five down from the top, then we can add the hatch, uh, the crow's nest. So we build one on the center and then two around the sides, like so. And I'm just trying to think how we've done this. So, so it's sort of five round like that, and then. One, two out, one, two out, and then one, two forward, one, two forward, and then one, two, three across. So you're basically just building a bathtub, um, like so. Now I don't know if the crow's nest on the Ile de France had a, had a cover to it. So I know on the Queen Mary that the, the crow's nest was covered and had a roof on it, but I don't know if this one did. So I'm just going to leave it blank for now. But if you want to add the details uh, of a roof and things, then by all means, but I'm going to leave it for now. Anyway, underneath the uh, crow's nest, we just add stairs underneath for a bit of detail to make it a bit more, a bit more bulk to it, and uh, it should look something like that. So use stairs underneath. Like I say, it gives it a bit more bulk. So there we go. There's the crow's nest. But like I say, it looks like a bathtub. Right. So that is the uh, forward mast built. So we're going to go down to the bottom of the mast, and we're going to add some more detail to it. So uh, if I get my notes and work out what to do, so bear with me. Uh, so what we do is we go to the bottom of the mast and we go two out from the side. So we go out one, two, and we add the mech, another two mechs. So we add one this side, so three, and three like that. And then 
one, two, three, four, five across. And we do the same the other side. So one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And then one, two, three, four, five, like so. So basically pulleys for the uh, rigging above. And then above the mix, we're going to add a ring of blocks around uh, around the mast. So in orange, we go one, two, three, four, five, 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 six, seven, eight. So eight blocks around the diameter of the mast, like so. And it should look something like that. And then uh, fourth up from the bottom. So we go back to the, to the back down to the bottom and count up to the four. So one, two, three, four. Up, we add a block out there and a block out the side like so and then we're going to build forward uh, 20, hang on, 22 blocks forward so from these blocks here you build 21 because these would count as number one so that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 like so and the same the other side 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So it's 22 long like so. And then from the end, we can use the good old black blocks there like so. And uh, those are the two sort of derricks like that. And then we go to the fifth block up. So the block above uh, these blocks here, we're going to add another block there and a block there on top. And this time we're going to add seven rows of four backwards. So the, the 22 went forward. The rows of four will go backwards. And there's seven rows of them. So I add, uh, that's the first block. So two, three, four. So that's one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's three so far. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's six. And one, two, three, four. That's seven, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. So I have one more. One, two, three, four. So that's seven rows of four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven rows of four. Uh, plus a black block there. And we do the same on the other side. So two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <gasps> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there we go. Seven rows of four plus a black block there we go and that is that section done there and I think that would be it for this upper deck so there's not much more we can add uh, uh, so what we're going to do now is just add handrails around the edge of this upper deck so get our iron bars go from the uh, outside edge from the uh, superstructure here and just add around the edge that is uh, the line of iron bars around the edge and it should all be fine once it's all done so we go right the way around the edge of our upper deck here. And there we go, that's the handrails added there, and that is that upper deck done. So we've got two masts on the ship now, the ship is definitely taking shape. And that area is now cluttered with uh, objects and unusual things. And it don't look too bad, do I? Just check the prototype from here, if I can. Yeah, it don't, don't look too bad. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a jump cut while I uh, measure out the next section, which is the forecastle down here. And then uh, we can move on from there, so um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is work on the uh, forecastle of the ship. And we're going to go down to the front wall of the, uh, well, the front wall of where we were just building. And we're going to add a pair of doors. Uh, normal wood doors are always useful. And we're going to go to the, not the front flat wall, we're going to go to the sort of third section along, which is this section here. And paste, uh, build in a couple of doors there. Just there, that's all you need, just a pair of doors there. And then the same on the other side. So I put a pair of doors in that side as well. And that's it. There's no windows to add or anything like that. At least that's not what I saw on uh, models or photographs. So it's just a flat wall like so. And then what we're going to do now is add a hatch, I think. Hang on, let's work out what to do. Oh, no, we need to add a couple of cranes first. So what we're going to do is go to the front wall of this section here. So this front square wall. And we're going to count out to the third out. So from this corner, I'll go out three. So one, two, three. And then 
one back and we're going to build our crane 24 high and it's going to be in orange so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 so 24 high like so and then we add a band around the top or around the one block down from the top like so and it should look something like that and then flop down to the bottom splat and then uh, fourth up from the bottom so one two three four we're going to add five rows of five diagonally towards the center so the fifth block the uh, fourth block up so one two three four and then five rows of five so one two three four five 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 so that should be five one two three four five yeah five rows of five and then of course a black block at the end like so so that's that section there so to do the same on the other side for the crane so from the front wall here we go one two three out and one back and 24 up so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 and then a band or blocks around the top like so and then fly down to the bottom splat fourth block up 1 2 3 4 and then 5 rows of 5 so 1 how did I do it so it's on the inside so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 5 rows of 5, and of course a black block in the end like that. And it should look something like that. So you've got your two cranes, or sort of cranes like that. And then what we're going to do now is go to the front wall again, and to the centre block. And I'll just get my notes to make sure I do this properly. I want to make sure I don't read too much of what I've just read. Uh, so we go to the front wall here and to the center block and we're going to leave a three block gap so one two three and on the fourth block uh, we build a cargo hatch and this one is seven wide so center block and three other sides so one two three that way and one two three that way the sides are 15 so one two three four five six seven eight nine change copy that again so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so I had to recap that I got stuck against that thing so send the other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and then join them together like so and then for the design we just add the whole thing fill it in with quartz blocks or white wool or white concrete whichever you're using and then we add the design change to it which is basically this is not the same as the one above which was sort of a line of blocks in the middle and then slabs other side we're just going to add slabs uh, the full length so we'll start from the center and we'll add slab and then a slab either side so it's three slabs wide in the center and we we'll just add that the full length of the hatch I'll tell you what, the brightness of this really hurts my eyes. And there we go. So there we are, that's our hatch done. It should look something like that. And then, just bear with me while I work out my notes. Uh, right, so after the cargo hatch, we're going to leave another three block gap. So, uh, one, two, three gap. And on the fourth block, we build a, a wall. So it's seven wide. So one, in the center and then one two three that way and one two three that way and this wall is two and a half blocks high so two blocks high like so and then a slab along the top or slabs along the top like so and this is the center section of the ship's breakwater on the bow so what this is it's it, you have the diagonal walls either side and what it is a wave comes over the bow and uh, if, if a wave comes over the bow the breakwater will divert the water out to the sides and off the off the ship so that's what that's for so either side uh, of the of this wall you're just going to build diagonal blocks all the way out to the side so diagonally single diagonal blocks out like so so that's that side and do the same on the other side and then we've got to build them up a bit so I just just add them in uh, as they are single blocks like so and so what we're going to do the first four blocks are the four blocks closest to the center we make them too high, so one, two, three, four. 
and then the next four blocks we make them one and a half so one two three four and then the rest are single blocks so I do the same the other side so the closest four to the center two high one two three four and then the next four are one and a half one two three four and then the rest are just single blocks okay so I just change my notes again uh, and what we're doing now, oh, my notes are falling over, so bear with me a second. Alright, that's sorted. Okay, so that's that's the uh, uh, breakwater done. So we'll have a quick look at that, make sure it's all fine, and it is. Nothing really special, but it's, you know, it's there nonetheless. So what we're going to do now is leave a single block gap forward of that. So we've got the wall here, leave a single block gap, and then we're going to add a five block wall again. So one, and then two either side, like so, and it's a single block high section. And then you're going to add a block there, there, and there, like so. And what this is, this is where the anchor chains uh, would go inside the hull or, or go inside the deck. But we're just going to use uh, slabs. And what I normally use is uh, normally use co uh, stone slabs. Uh, but you can use whatever. I think on the Queen Mary I used anvils, but they don't look all that great. So. You know, it's up to you what you want to use, but I use stone slabs for this, and the slabs uh, or the chains themselves are 16 long, so the chains would start in these grooves here. So I'm going to build them 16 long along the deck. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then the same the other side 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like that. And that's our anchor chains, like so. And then what we're going to do now is go back to the side blocks or back to the uh, end blocks here and on the side we leave a four block gap so one two three four and on the fifth block we add a block there and then one two three four block gap again add another block and then one two three four and on the fifth block add another block so it's every fifth block along you add a block along the side uh, I don't know what these are for but uh, I think they're just sort of vents or windlasses for the bow so do the same the other side and it should look something like that. I've just taken most of my reference from models and rough photographs because I didn't a lot of inf information about Ile de France, um, or at least uh, detailed photographs of the, of the forecastle. So I'm just sort of going with uh, models and uh, rough drafts. So don't uh, quote me on what I've just built. So at the end of the chains, we're going to add the anchor. So between the chains, we're going to go uh, put a block in the centre there and then one two three across and then one two three down and then a block there a block there and then a block there and there and that is sort of our anchor but you can actually we'll make it a bit longer so we'll get rid of those blocks again make it one block longer and then we'll go two out to the sides and then one up like so so that's that's a better looking anchor it's not brilliant but you know it's it's an anchor nonetheless and probably a bit too big for the ship we have but you know that's that uh, so that's the anchor and then what we're going to do from there is uh, we're going to go to the tip of the bow now and we're going to add a sort of not figurehead but sort of white uh, wall around the front so we'll add a single block on the, on the centre of the bow so a single block there and then uh, seven out to the side so one two three four five six seven like so and then we'll do the same the other side so one two three four five six seven like that and it should look something like something like that it just adds an extra bit of uh, de well, not detail but you know a bit more wall to the bow and then we're going to add the bow crane which is I think it's hang on, I'm just trying to work this one out the crane itself is a third block back from the center so there's the center block here and we're going to go to the third block back so one two three and we'll add the crane there which is six high so one two three four five six so it's six high like that and then for the crane arm itself you're going to need quartz slabs which I've put away and then halfway down the top block we're going to build the arm which is uh, eight long so one two three four five six seven eight like so and then from the third block back, I think it's the third block back, we add the crane support underneath using diagonal slabs. So just try and do this the best I can. And yeah, that'll do, wouldn't it? 
and then underneath the, the tip block you can add the uh, dangly bit the, uh, the what is it the hook which would attach to the anchor so that's that section there and what we're going to do now is to tidy up the bow because when we come to add the handrails this is something I do on all my ships okay so when we come to add the handrails we're going to add them along the side but what we're going to do is remove the wood block under here because when you add the handrails over the side like this you can see that the handrails are actually sat on the wood blocks as well and I don't like that that's that's something that annoys me so I'll just remove the handrails here and what we're going to do, we're going to remove one wood block from each section here and then replace it with a white block. So just do this, re re replace each connecting wood block here, replace it with a white one so the white blocks are all connected along along the side. So this is just for the forecastle and it's just something that annoys me. Just tidying it up a bit so when you add the handrails it will sit just on the white blocks and it will look a lot better. So do the same around the back of the uh, breakwater as well. And there we go. So that is the are all correct collect, corrected there. So what we do now is go from the front wall here. We just add handrails along the side, and as you can see, the handrails all sit on the uh, white blocks of the of the uh, bow. So there's no wood blocks involved. So I just do this side, and then I do the other side. Like so, and it should look something like that. Now, just do the other side as well. Just correct the white, uh, replace the white blocks here. And when it's all done, it should look fine in theory. Remember the difference between theory and reality is well, there's an awful lot. Anyway, that's all the white blocks added, and just add the handrails around the side. there and what we're going to do now is to add the bollards and we're going to use our anvils for this which I normally do excuse me uh, use anvils now I'm going to use anvils and I'm going to put three pairs of bollards along the forecastle so we'll start near the anchor and I'm going to put these in random places I've not put them in any specific place so we'll put a pair just there next to the anchor and then about halfway along towards the uh, break water will add another pair of bollards and then just before the final section here we'll just add a pair of bollards there just in front of that uh, front wall there so you've got uh, three pairs of bollards down there I do the same the other side so a pair of bollards there and then a bit further back add a pair of bollards uh, just here make sure they're lined up and then the last pair of bollards in the last section just there. There we go, that's all the bollards added. And I think that is all the detail for the folk story. We can add a bit more if you want to. I mean, this is just, remember, it's just a rough guide. Um, but yeah, it don't look too bad. At least it's you know, it's fully detailed now. And it uh, don't look too bad. So that's the folk story and the upper deck done. And uh, we'll leave it at that. So we're gonna move on now a bit further down the ship and there's two more objects we're gonna add. And they're basically just small towers, nothing really spectacular. But if you look on the prototype, and you look just behind the second funnel, there's a pair of ta uh, small towers where the crosshairs are, or well, just just below the crosshairs. You can just see a couple of small towers there. I'm going to add those, and these go to the second deck house where the funnel would be. So you've got the first deck house behind, we well, got the main deck house, and you've got the deck house there, which got all those windows along the side. We're going to go to the second one with the four four windows on. And then we're going to go to the back corners and we're going to add uh, four blocks like so and then four again like so and then black blocks around like so and then on top of that we're going to add stairs so this doesn't normally work but uh, we'll try it nonetheless so stairs 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 and stairs now oh, that worked <laughs> it didn't when I was building this thing anyway you got that uh, small tower there so we do the same the other side so four blocks, four blocks, and then four black blocks, and then uh, stairs around the top, and that didn't work. So stairs, stairs, 
stairs and stairs and there we go that's those two towers done there and then what we're going to do is do two more so go to the next deck house and we're not going to build them on the deck house but we're going to go to the side of the deck house so this last deck house here go to the side so just go out to the side to the left or we'll start on the left anyway and just in front of that you've got a set of stairs there so this will be your marker you've got your stairs there and you've got your final deck house here and you've got this section corner section here of the deck below and in this corner here we're going to add uh, the tower so I'm just going to look over to the prototype and make sure I do do this right so in this corner here we'll add a tower and it's four blocks again in there and then make this four high so it's one and then two high three high and then four high so four high and white and then one black section there and then stairs around the top and it should all work fine like so there we go that's that section there although that tower and then we go over to the other side and do the same again so once again down the side of the deck house onto the uh, corner pavilion here or port corner part there and add four 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 and four 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 high and then black section and then stairs like so if they worked there we go there's the stairs added there so that's those four towers added there and that's all I'm gonna do for today we're gonna leave it at that but there's still plenty more to go on uh, still more uh, um, small masts cranes maybe and uh, detailing to go on but uh, we've got a lot done today nonetheless uh, so for the next part which will be uh, part 8 I think and I think we can do the funnels so we'll do the funnels in part 8 and hopefully we'll try it we'll try and get this done under 10 parts I think it's doable so our next part will be part 8 and we'll do the funnels and then probably part 9 we'll do the lifeboats and all the finishing off details so we're getting getting through it and uh, yeah not doing too bad so we so what we're gonna do we're gonna leave it at that and uh, call it a day so this is rich signing off logging off disappearing and I shall return in part 8 so um bye for now